Well, we're trying to get rid of a seizure focus in a little boy with chronic seizures, recurrent seizures. When he was admitted to the hospital and we were able to monitor him in our epilepsy monitoring unit, he was having over 100 seizures per day. He spent almost a week in the hospital us trying to control his seizures with medication. And he was able to go home having seven seizures a day, which is still not ideal. It was a matter of time for us to move him forward to the process of uh, having surgery. The uh, surgery probably would have required a, an open craniotomy, meaning that the patient will have to have a big incision on the skin, followed by removal of a piece of the bone in order to access the brain itself and to remove it manually. Uh, by the surgeon. The plan was to remove this lesion in a different way from what we're used to use, using and, and in this case we would uh, basically burn it up as opposed to cutting it out. So it's right there and it's really in the gray matter isn't it? But we proposed an entry point here and we were trying to come here. This is an attempt to eradicate the problem and uh, at the same time spare him a, a, large op a larger operation. Well, the procedure itself uh, will be used not only for epilepsy patients, but will also be used for tumor patients. So it would also enhance the, the uh, neuro-oncology program as well. From the epilepsy standpoint, it will help us do minimally invasive surgeries on patients that could be cured from their seizures just doing a minor procedure rather than having to do a major, major surgical in intervention.